Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Aries. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Aries, I feel like there's an important conversation coming up between you and this person. Uh, this person would be your partner or your ex-partner. And this is about reconciling. Okay, but... Um, what I want you to be aware of is that there is somebody who is influencing your partner, okay, a bit of a troublemaker around that person, okay. You may or may not be aware of this person. Um, you don't see or you're not seeing eye to eye or you're not able to agree over about things. Um, with the partnership card here, I'll just show you. This is, you know, not seeing eye to eye. It, it speaks to an imbalance be in, in the couple, okay? Um, and perhaps uh, somebody's refusing to see it or ignoring it. Um, or you're just simply not seeing eye to eye. In, you're not getting along. Um, and we see here that what's coming with it is the troublemaker okay so um i feel like somebody is influencing this person and uh that is hurting the relationship or hurting any future chances for this relationship also um over here we have um uh, we have the angel uh, or the false halo and um, I feel like uh, you may feel like this person is pretending interest okay you may be suspicious that they are pretending interest um, in you and in reconciling with you okay um, so I feel like I feel like you are not quite trusting this person. Um, I feel like you want to. There's a, you're grieving over this loss. Um, it feels you have the Ten of Shields on top of that. So that's like a lot of uh, burdens, feeling like your hands are tied losing faith um, that you guys are going to come back together. Okay, this is what you want. And uh, this is what you're very, very worried about with the Nine of Swords. Okay, so you there's a lot of negative thoughts or you're having a lot of negative thoughts uh, surrounding the possibility of this happening in the future. You're beginning to lose faith. Um... And so we have the Ace of Wands on its side. And it, it is here, up here. You need to know this um, because they are connecting. Uh, that it is up here in the reverse. And um, this is what you're worried about. You're worried that this Ace of Wands that's in suspension, okay, currently, uh, because of him. Um, you're worried that it's going to take... Uh, a turn for the worse and that you're going to lose this opportunity for reconciliation that's what you're worried about because this is and it, a lot because that's burning the midnight oil so you're thinking about that a lot you just want to get back what you lost you want to get back what you lost um nine of swords uh is in the reverse here in this deck um it can speak to suspicions um so you may suspect that there's uh some type of deception or infidelity going on here uh between you two because and, and if it is if there really is it will come out at this time okay It'll come out at this time and things either improve or will get worse once that, once that information comes out. 
so here he is and he's like asking himself a lot of questions and he's uh he doesn't really know what to do because uh this card of assessment is on its side so he's he's not it's almost like he's not really assessing he's just kind of sitting in this energy not really doing anything so the ace of wands is on its side and the assessment is on its side it's like being been suspended for now while he asks himself all of these questions okay receiving this symbol is it indicates somebody who who would be asking themselves a lot of questions who am i what do i want where am i going where have i been you know uh where am i now why why you know um why has this happened or why is this happening and uh so they would be asking themselves a lot of questions so maybe they need to answer these questions before they can uh actually continue with a an assessment on that ace of wands you see um so you may possibly think that they're just putting you off that's a possibility <clears throat> i feel like this person uh it's it, maybe they give you hope and then they take it away and they give you hope and they take it away i i feel like um I feel like something very unexpected happened between you guys uh, in the past. And then, and then there was hope that maybe uh, things were going to get better. Um, but so far, it, it's like just sitting in suspension. Um, they were not ready in the past to open up, or they weren't opening up to you in the past. About why they were so angry it's like they got really angry here you can clearly see it they got really angry so uh maybe in the past uh in the past they weren't ready to open up about this and maybe maybe that's going to come out in that future conversation you're going to have this is also an indicator of some third influence going on here okay Now, I kind of feel, though, that that, that conversation you're going to have, I, I kind of feel like uh, you're going to initiate it. Um, you're open. You're, you really want to talk about this because you really want to know what's going on with this person. They're hard to read. They're unpredictable, you know. Um so there you are, open, but you've, you're guarded. You're, you're ready to hear them out because you need this uh, emotional and mental clarity. Okay. Um, the convenenza is here. And so <clears throat> it's like you go into this conversation to face your fears, to face the truth. So you're looking for answers. Um and you want to speak your truth. So you're going to tell this person your truth. This is what you're thinking of. You're thinking of, of sending this message to this person uh, to have this conversation. Uh, to speak the truth. To get to the truth. To get answers. Uh, to get answers even uh, about the past. Because he's about getting wisdom from the past or gaining wisdom from the past. So I think that you, you want answers about what happened between you two in the past. Um, and you want to know what, where this is going. Is there a future? What's happening now? You know, what's really going on is what you want to know. Are they just pretending to want to reconcile? Um, well, fame is in the, in the reverse and along with the expectation sitting next to justice in the reverse um, 
and the um, the false halo is right next to that uh, to these cards okay so um, I feel like you're looking at uh, fame okay that's where your gaze is is at and um, you feel like you've been judged unfairly uh, wrongly judged you could be sitting there in expectation of a decision because in the reverse it can indicate a decision that is pending um, <clears throat> Justice is in the reverse, so again, um, <clears throat> you may, uh, you could be thinking that the decision will not be in your favor. One minute, I'll be right back. Sorry about that. So yeah, you could be thinking that the uh, you're expecting a decision from this person. You're waiting on a decision from this person um, because maybe they say they want to reconcile. Uh, but maybe their actions don't match their words. And um, it's like they give you hope one minute and then take it away the next. That's how I feel it is. And um, you have an expectation. Uh, I feel you're expecting that the decision won't be in your favor. Okay, you got this this feeling. Courage. Uh, will be needed to face this challenge. Um, the Three of Wisdom. Um, you're seeking a way uh, through this energy, um, looking for a solution. You don't know what to believe because I have the false prophet here and it is falling with him. You are here. He is right here. And so um, you you're not sure what to expect from this person you're not sure what that decision is going to be but you've got a bad feeling and you uh, he, it's like he has that element of surprise and this is what you're worried about you don't want to be surprised here okay um When it comes to this relationship and the health of this relationship, there's going to be a sudden shift in thinking. You're going to have uh, a, a very important conversation with this person that I feel you are going to initiate here. I feel this is your energy here and I feel like you are going to initiate this conversation because you really need to know, you want to know what's going on. Okay, you don't want any surprises. And right now you're starting to have a bad feeling. So you're, you, you want to know. So you will initiate this conversation. And uh, in that conversation, uh, when it happens, you are going to learn something. And you are going to learn something that is going to surprise you. It's going to surprise you. And maybe that's what brings about, because this sits in the future. So that could be what brings about this shift in thinking. That is what I have for you, Aries. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.